everyone. My name is Nova. So I'm Judy. Hello. And welcome to the Reaction Channel. And today we're continuing with our Game of Thrones reactions. We're in season three, episode eight. Um, and I have to sneeze. Oh my god, sneeze. Uh, oh, the second son. Name the episode. Okay, before we start our reactions, like usual, we want the full length reactions. You can go check those on my Patreon. Link to in the description box down below. And don't forget to subscribe, like. Uh, <clears throat> also, I want to <clears throat> mention, excuse me, that uh, you know, as we start getting like closer to the ends of shows and whatnot, I thought we'd start doing polls on my Patreon. So if you guys were interested in checking that out, uh, let me know. And yeah, and also if you want to send me like Game of Thrones related gifts or whatever, let me know so I can think about getting a PO box. Okie dokie. Where do we leave off? I don't know, you have to look at your notes. Jamie, I'm back for being. Yes. That she made me almost, happy. She was almost killed by a bear. That made me happy that he did that. I know. It's Jamie's redemption arc season. <laughs> um, fudge. I don't know what happened. Um, I don't either. I don't that's like all I remember. That's like the biggest thing that happened in the episode. Um, I mean, really. Danny showed up in Yonkai. Threatened that one to do with her dragons. John and Ygritte were just talking. Doing their thing. Yeah, they'd be on the wall. Um, yeah, because it wasn't it? It was one that was a lot of not whole action. It was more they were setting a bunch of yeah, except for the end with the bear. Yeah, it was kind of one that they were doing a lot of like setting things up. Yeah, setting things up for like the rest of the season. That was like right. the previous episode also. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sansa's okay. like, oh god, I gotta marry Tyrion. Well, so. I'll just get right to it, I guess, then. Oh, yeah, Robin to Lisa, they're pregnant. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, just good stuff. Let's get into it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, yeah, because wasn't he on her list? Yep. Think she's gonna kill him? No. He'll wake up before. <clears throat> I'll give you one try, girl. Kill me and you're free. But if I live, I'll break both your hands. <laughs> oh, crap. Go on, hit me. Hit me hard. <laughs> I probably wouldn't, are you? <laughs> I know, right? Worse than me would find you. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah. There's no one worse than you. <laughs> you're my brother. Yeah. You once killed a man for snoring. There's plenty worse than me. Yeah, it's true. Mm -hmm. Men who like to beat little girls. Men who like to rape them. Saved your sister from some of them. <laughs> you're lying. Ask her if you ever see her again. Well, we know who's telling the truth. Back for her when the mob had her on her back. Where do you think I'm taking you? Back to King's Landing. To Joffrey and the Queen. Fuck Joffrey. Fuck <laughs> the Queen. It's the Red Fork. Because your mother and brother will be there. And they'll pay me for you. Hmm? I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I know. Oh, it's like, ooh, that's exciting. I can yeah. see my mom, my brother. Yeah. <clears throat> I would be nice. I'd be happy for that. For re... re yeah. <laughs> reunion, that's the right kind of the word, reunion. But it's like too good to be true. No, you never know. You licked me <coughs> off like she was born to do it. Yeah. <laughs> He's trying to yeah, shock her. Yeah. Bring wine. We have no slaves here. In the second sons, we share everything. After the battle, maybe we'll all share you. <laughs> Tishbag. <laughs> I know, she's just like, doesn't even let it phase her. When this is over. She's so Barristan, pissed. If it comes to battle, kill that one first. <laughs> oh yeah, you know they're gonna battle. Mm. They're not gonna want to, you know. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I hope she doesn't like sacrifice him or something. Oh, I think she's gonna sacrifice him? Yeah. I was hoping maybe she just takes some of his blood, but mm. I have a feeling it's probably gonna be like a I guess we'll Whole see you. body sacrifice, that would suck. And none have seen the blade. <laughs> oh, Jesus. 
Got it, girl. Yeah, I called it. They're gonna do full body sacrifice. Yeah. She's going to kill him. Sacrifice him. Forgive yeah, me, there's a difference. I'm not a lettered man, but is there a difference between <laughs> and sacrifice? <clears throat> she won't talk so much when she's choking on my cock. This dude. Thousand pounds Sally to stand between her and your cock. It's gonna be him. Lala <laughs> Murulis. You don't have to speak to me as a prisoner anymore. You won't be a prisoner after today. You'll be my wife. I suppose that's a different kind of prison. <laughs> <laughs> mm. We're going to be sisters soon. We should be friends. <laughs> You're a musical girl, aren't you? <clears throat> Imagine you have a lovely voice. If you ever call me sister again, I'll have you strangled in your sleep. <laughs> Dang, girl. Yeah, she's like, this is what happens to families that Sisters, but yet going to be her mother-in-law. I know, right? Weird, right? That is very strange. What are you doing? Your father's gone. Oh, God. As the father of the realm, it is my duty to oh my give God. you away to your husband. Nice, Joffrey. <laughs> now you see it on the cake. <laughs> right. Uh, well, you know, what can she, the she actually dodged a bullet, not having to marry say, Joffrey. I was gonna say on the bright so. side, she didn't have to marry Joffrey. There could be worse things. Exactly. Tyrion said he would never hurt her. Right. Compared to Joffrey. Ugh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was mean. I know. I know. I know. The darkness that will swallow the dawn. And we can stop it. You and I. Well, Mel is very convincing. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> Getting him drunk. <laughs> seducing him. Put him in a nice, luxurious room. Yeah. <laughs> Get away! With a leech? Yeah, it's a leech. <laughs> Not there! Not there! Uh. Ew. I know this is nasty, especially right well, there. Don't, well, if they don't kill him, I mean... Yeah. So, their son will be your nephew. After your wed to Cersei, of course. <laughs> and you will be the king's stepfather and brother-in-law. When you marry the king, Joffrey's mother will become his <laughs> sister-in-law. And your son will be Loris's nephew, grandson. <laughs> and I know, let us speak in the truth. will become your father-in-law. That much is beyond dispute. That's so weird. I don't know. She's like, yep. Perhaps you could talk to your bride to be instead. I've got a lifetime for that. <sighs> Cersei is like Joffrey. Joffrey. I know. I tried to say poor Sansa. She kind of, yeah, in a way, I think so. What the hell is he going to do? My father once told Nobody me. cares what your father once told you. <laughs> nice. Yeah, but she's old enough to be his mother. All uh, right. I suppose it doesn't really matter which Lannister puts the baby into you. Oh my God, Maybe Joffrey! I'll pay you a visit tonight after my uncle passes out. That's all right. So Marin and Sir Boris will hold you down. He is a little creep. <laughs> <laughs> then you'll be fucking your own bride. With a wooden cock. Mm. Oh my god. What did you say? <laughs> what? Did you... uh, he just say. threatened to kind of cut something off. I believe we can dispense with the bedding, Your Grace. I'm sure Tyrion did not mean to threaten the king. <laughs> <laughs> no, he did. Right? 
A bad joke, Your Grace. Made out of envy of your own royal manhood. <laughs> Mine is so small. My poor wife won't even know I'm there. Your uncle is clearly quite drunk. Kai. <laughs> Oh, poor Sansa. I vomited on a girl once. Oh, God. Out of it. But I think honesty is important between a man and wife. Don't you agree? How old are you exactly? Fourteen. They make her way too young. <laughs> I know. She's like, oh, God. Chalk won't make you any older. They should have at least said she's like 16. I she's, know. I mean, well, yeah. Because he doesn't really yeah. want to, you know. I think he was guilty too. Oh, I know. <laughs> but I'd be worried about Joffrey if I was her. I know. Right, I know. I got you. Though Joffrey seems like he's a short attention span, so maybe <laughs> I'll get distracted by other stuff. Yeah. Oh, oh, nice. Oh. We had philosophical differences. Over what? Philosophical Your beauty. differences? Your beauty. Sweating. I think he wants to do more than fight for her. <laughs> uh, maybe just a tiny little bit. My sword is yours, my life is yours. My heart is yours. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> said okay so he didn't do it <laughs> See, light of fire again. <laughs> just a gilly do it a fire? she's better at it Aww. he winked at me before I doubt it I saw him wink at me <laughs> he blinked <laughs> I suppose it's a rather philosophical difference between a wink and a blink. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, it's Sam. Times, do you talk fancy on purpose to confuse me? <laughs> no. This is just, just the way I talk. Randall, Tarly. Randall's a handsome name. Please don't name him Randall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see it in his party a lot. Yeah. Can't go out there. I'll be back. I just want to look. Yeah, I wouldn't want to go out there either. I'd be like, you know, we'll just stay in here and let it come get us. <laughs> what the heck? I know, there's too many. They're going crazy. Oh, snap. That's not good. Ooh, that's creepy. It's going to be the chalice. Don't. Sam, don't go. It's come for the baby. <laughs> yeah, Sam, I don't think you can fight it. You oh. stay back. <laughs> Shoot me. Oh. oh, Sammy, Sam, Sam, Sam. Didn't expect that to happen. Mm -hmm. So I just look at Gilly's face was like, what the heck just happened? I know, I think they're just like, run, get out of there quick. Yeah, because it might come back to life. Oh. Or back to death. Or whatever the hell death. it is. Come back. Because <sighs> I can't imagine they would just die like that. Uh-huh. But maybe. Okay, you ready? Yep. Discussion time. Okay, donkey. So we started off. With Arya and the Hound. Not even to go kill that hound. That just made some of the rock. She's so sweet. <laughs> oh no, she's sweet. She was trying to kill him. <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> I know what you mean. Uh, well, you know, I'm glad though that even though he's 
taking her back for the money. I'm glad he's taking her he's back. He's taking her back, yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know why he's taking her back. He's it would be taking her back. It would be nice to have her reunited with her mom and yeah. her brother. Well, her mom. I don't care about her brother. But you know oh, you mean? don't care about Rob? Well, I meant, you know. For the, re for the reunion. Yeah, the mom and the daughter. The I mom would, and you, the daughter. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't, you know, care why he's doing it. Yeah. As long as he protects her and gets her there safely. That's yeah. all I care about well, at this point. Yeah. Well, like the ham was saying, you know, there's worse for people. Oh, heck worse, yeah. A lot worse men than me. Oh, yeah. Because he wouldn't, that's the thing is, Please. he only kills when he needs to. Needs to either to save his own life or because he's doing it that on command. Yeah. He's not going to do it just to do it. Because like, when he killed Ari's friend Micah, the butcher boy, he only did it because because Joffrey and the Robert thing. Made him, told him to. Yeah, yeah. I was probably Cersei and Joffrey, not Robert, but Cersei yeah. and Joffrey probably told him to go kill the butcher's boy, so he did. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, he's, it's probably, I mean, he's so gruff and tough that right. it seems like he would enjoy it, but I don't know if he ever really enjoyed it. It was right. just kind of like... His job. His, yeah, his job. Um, yeah. So, hopefully you'll get a see reunion. Yeah, That's I hope so. I, yeah. I would like to see something nice finally happen. I mean, there's only so much someone. bad stuff Jesus. that a person can take. Sometimes, sometimes you got to give and take. You yeah, give they got to have something good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like you're saying, <laughs> he's just going back for the money. But still. <laughs> That's okay. I don't care. And I did like that he pointed out to Arya that he saved Sansa. Mm-hmm. I love that Arya was like, you lie. And he's like, no, me ain't lying. Um, and then we met the second son. The name of the episode. <sighs> and they're so sore. It's like Braun is. Where they'll sell their... If you pay for them, they'll fight for you. Mm. Um... And, well, we just talked about the whole storyline. So, yes, we met, I don't remember the names of the other dudes. Mero, I think, was the douchebag dude. I don't, remember, oh, I, don't know. I don't remember the name of the other guy. And then we met Dario and Aharis. And, well, obviously, um, Dario killed those two other dudes. Yeah. Because he's like, he wants to fight for Danny. Yeah, well, I can like say he wants to do more than I think. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I get a kick that she stands up in the bath the way she does. You know, and walks out fully naked. But I I'm wondering if that... I don't think I think why she would do that. I mean, other than to get like, dressed, technically, but like the way she did it, to me, it was like it was supposed to be like a power move. Yeah, I think it was a power move. I felt like it was. I don't know if it was like a testing him type of thing. Well, since she like where the other guy was on the ass scene talking it's, about, you well, know, what I mean, thing, I think. I, it's alright, no fish. Yeah, no, it was just kind of it. I mean, yeah. Well, and I noticed he. Well, I mean, it looked like he tried to keep eye contact with her. Like he wasn't ugly. Right, 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 right. He, he was focused on her face. Which right. Was, so I'm wondering if that was part of what she was testing for. Like, are you just, like, this lusty guy? Or, like, you right. can't fight for me. And I think that was him trying to prove, like, you know, what did he say? My my sword is yours. My what? My, 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 my heart. Blah. He said my heart is yours. He said something else. I don't remember what. But, um. Ooh, sorry. Yeah. So, I guess we'll see where that goes. Um. And then, oh god, so we have Mao and Genji. That's probably the grossest part of the episode, those leashes. See, that's not that gross. Well, yeah, but one of them went on his... Yeah, but... Yeah. There could be a lot worse things than leeches sucking on you. Hmm. Have you ever had a leech attached to you? No. Have you? Uh-huh. Here, you have? But not for, like, long, yeah. Those are big guys. Yeah. They make two different types of leeches. Like, like, yeah, swimming in lakes back in Wisconsin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I... I don't know if I ever got, I remember one time I was in a lake or water or something for like school and we looked at leeches and I think they were in the water. I don't, I don't remember if one got stuck to me, but I just remember, I think they might got stuck to one of the students or something. I watched a toy tangent for a second. I watched this one video once on YouTube about this like wilderness guy and he like had stuck his hand in like a bowl full of leeches to see what they Well, would some do. people do it now for beauty stuff. They have... Leeches sucking. Oh, yeah, yeah, they do. On the bachelor. <laughs> yeah, they see. So I mean, gee, but yeah. So I mean, it depends how long their aunt stuck on you sucking. But yeah, but still, the way she went about it, you know, seducing him, getting him drunk. Right. But she did say though. She mentioned sacrifice earlier to Stannis. Right. And she didn't do it here. So do I don't you, know if it's like a full sacrifice, we'll see. Time do you will think, tell. Yeah. Do you think I yeah this was it, or do you think there could be more? Oh, you know, I kind of like to hope this is it, but uh -huh. knowing her, I kind of think there might be more later. I mean, because she did say to Stannis, you know, with the lamp, you don't right. show the blade. Right. I mean, this was it. Maybe well, we well, on his way. Or letting him think this is it, mm -hmm. 
And then, so then he lets his guard mm -hmm. down, thinking, oh, this was it. Oh, okay, I'm safe. Whew, that's all she wanted. Mm -hmm. And then later, poop. Could be. You know. Um, yeah, but Cena's not look too happy when he walked in and saw no. him all naked and got you tied to the bed. Leeches all over him. Um, and Stannis and Davos had an interesting conversation in their cell, and because that was his own. We just learned more that, you know, Davos is definitely an atheist. He doesn't really believe in the gods. Right. Um, and Stannis, he's like, but yeah, you know, she birthed this creepy shadow, didn't Yeah. You? And then he saw this great battle in snow and this other stuff. And yeah. This, this whole episode was kind of about gods and stuff. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Anyway, so then we got Cersei and Tyrion's wedding. No, Cersei. Cersei and Tyrion. <laughs> Sansa and Tyrion. I'm trying to do you. <laughs> Sansa and Tyrion. Um, and that was a whole tons of drama. So first we had their... Wedding ceremony. Yeah. And Joffrey was a little prick, a little prick prince, and stole Tyrion's um, stool. stool. So that he could, you know, drape the cloak around Zanza easier. Um, and of course, yeah. And that's probably the only reason he wanted to walk her up there. <laughs> to take it. To take his brother's stool. Oh, or his uncle's stool. Well, like he was saying, though, he's the father of the realm being the king, so. Yeah. I mean, I guess there's some basis for it in that regard. Her dad is dead. For Nanny Pie, you can just see Ned watching Dad at this, being like, "Oh God, oh God, this is not what I wanted for my daughter, for daughter, or any of, any of his kids." Well, um, he was going to marry her off to Joffrey, though. Yeah, but I don't even know if he ever really wanted her to. Yeah. Well, that's before we knew how bad Joffrey was. Well, about. I know, but still, when Robert and him were, you know, yeah, but you didn't know how bad Joffrey was. I know. But and besides. Before Ned died, he was going to get them out and have her married. So he's like, I'll have you marry another like, nice northern lord. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. So there was that. But anyway. Anyway. Um, but I do love that scene where they're kind of, people are like bickering, not bickering, snickering in the audience. Mm. And Tywin just gives him a look. <laughs> even though he, like, kind of hates Tyrion, he's still his family. And he's oh, like, yeah, don't, don't be yeah. Mark in my family, yeah. That's right. And then we had Cersei and Marjorie. They had an interesting conversation at the ceremony. <laughs> Cersei, what did she say? Like, I don't if know. you ever call me sister again, I'll strangle you in your sleep or something like that. Yeah, so Cersei, I, kind of, I think I might have mentioned that. I told you this maybe off screen, I think. I don't, or maybe on screen, I don't remember. But um, where Cersei was just detailing Marjorie about um, the reigns of Castamere, you know, this family mm -hmm. that. Um, had her boat against Tywin, and so he killed them all. Mm -hmm. And they're the second wealthiest family at the time, and whereas mm -hmm. now the Tyro is the second wealthiest family. So it's just pretty much like, this is what happens when you mess with a family. Mm -hmm. Don't get ambitious. Don't, you know. Mm -hmm. So trying to put Marjorie in her place. Right. Um, and I love, oh God, I love this, this scene. Oh, yeah, where Lena was like... <laughs> She's, oh. I don't even remember, but she was, but she was listing off all the family. Right. I can't remember, but you know. I, like he'll be your brother, and then your father-in-law. In-law, and all this and stuff. And then this will be your, so your nephew, sister, and, your sister and, and your mother in law I, just, I thought that was so fun. I can't even remember, because it's Wait, too won't that be your grandson? Oh, oh, yeah, she couldn't even keep track either. I know she couldn't. I know, it was funny. I was like, oh, I love Elena. Okay, and then we had, all right, so Joffrey... Went to Sansa and was like, what does it matter? Basically threatening to rape her. But, yeah. but he didn't, though. He didn't show well, up. Well, then, yeah. doesn't mean he's not going to try to do it again in That's the future. True. But he did say, but he, but he, did, but he always didn't go to her on the wedding night. So. No, thank right. God. Yeah, maybe, like, so maybe before, maybe got distracted <laughs> with other fun play things. But I do like that Cersei was like, maybe you should pay attention to your... To right. Be, right. So, yeah, to me, I thought... Cersei's she, trying to protect Sansa still. I think, I think a little she, bit. I think so. I think... I think when she realized how bad her son was, mm. I think she really did feel yeah. kind of bad for Cersei, or Sansa. Sansa a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In a way. Well, and plus, too, now, uh, and especially now, I think now that she's kind of, like, the tables have turned yeah. on her, and she's kind of forced to do things that she doesn't want to do. Before, she never really kind of... Cared. Well, because she was always the queen, so she yeah. wasn't that forced to do anything, That's you know? True. yeah. But now she's... It's like she lost her power, but she's still up there, but she's not. So now she has to do what her dad says and what Joffrey says. and mm -hmm. So she may have a little more sympathy for Sansa now. Which is, that's nice, at least a little bit. Maybe a little, a little heart it? in there. And then I was going to ask a question. So is here when, when he was getting all drunk at the cere at the, mm -hmm. Wedding. At the ceremony, but the, um, the party. Yeah, the reception. The reception, thank you, that's the word. I can't think of the word. Um... I do love that he threatened Joffrey. <laughs> yeah. I know. 
I know. Charlie's like, I'm sure Terry didn't mean to threaten the king. <laughs> yeah, and then of course he's like, oh shit, okay, I gotta eat crow and I know. He's like, back no, down. Just a bad joke. And, oh, I'm just, I have a little cock. And, oh, yeah, oh I'm right. So tiny. Right. I'm just jealous of you. Exactly. He had to save face at that point. I know. Because Tyrion in the past has made a comment that I know his business isn't as small as people might think. <laughs> he has made a comment, at least I think a couple, I can't remember, to make, uh, to home that point in. But I was going to ask, so you know when he's like stumble around, like when mm -hmm. they're going to go you know, to their chambers, mm -hmm. did you think he was acting more drunk than he was or do you think he was literally that drunk? Uh, I don't know, hard to say. Because I almost felt like he was kind of, I mean yes he was drunk, but I felt like he was partly acting. More, more drunk, drunk maybe i feel i could be wrong but i don't know that's the sense i get from yeah it. hard to say anyway okay and then we had their um i guess the ready night but fortunately well for both of them <laughs> not really. yeah but they didn't have sex i mean for sansa because you know she didn't really want to and and well he doesn't really want to do that to her really, no he doesn't want to hurt her and make her uncomfortable and have i think her then despise him more and, yeah which it would Mm hmm. Um, so she be forced himself on her. Yeah, he, you know. Yeah, and they do make her way too young. Yeah, because there's no way that girl's 14. No, the actress, like, but she's still a teenager. I think she was like 16, 17. So she's so young here. I know. She's so tall. She's tall. Well, I think because in the first season, Sansa was like 13. And it made sense because she was like literally like 12, 13 when she started. So it made sense. Yeah. But I think the character age is slower than the actress. <laughs> so in the timeline, she'd be... I know, it just makes it so hard, unbelievable. Yeah, it's hard to believe. I wish, that they, I wish that they bumped up at least to 15, 16. I could believe it more. Because the actress, I think, was around 16. Yeah, they should have just bumped her age up. I do, because 14, when she says 14, immaterial is like, oh, shoot. <laughs> when she says 14. Well, not that 15 or 16 is any better, but I, I mean, her looks-wise, I'm but sorry, like, she doesn't look like she's 14. But there are certain 14, I mean, yeah, do you I remember guess. when we watched um, Susan Get Dancing, it was a kid's edition, and you had that one 13-year-old girl in there, 13, 14, she was insanely tall. Yeah, that's her. true, I guess. You know, you're so, right, I know, there are, you're right. And besides, so, certain girls today, when they look like 13, 14, it's pictures like on Instagram and stuff, my God, they look like when they're in the 20s. Well, yeah, and they all that makeup on. I know. And... So, yeah, it's just because she's tall. If she wasn't so tall, she wouldn't. Yeah. It'd be more believable, I think. Yeah. Anyway, um, neither here nor there. But then I love when Shay comes in at the end the next morning or yeah. after. And she's all mad because she's thinking cause they did it. And then she checks the sheets and now she's like, oh, I didn't see anything. <laughs> and it's like, oh, okay. And I love it with a smile. She gives to and like, okay, okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll believe you. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then I guess. Sam and Gilly. Yes, the last little bit. Right. It's okay. So, well, Gilly, awesome at her fire making, starting. Making, yes. Making, which we already knew she, she had fire skills yeah. before. And we still don't know what the baby's name is going to be. Um, <laughs> not Randall. Definitely not. I don't hope they're not Craster. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> but that is one thing that they do have in common. They both had jerkwads for fathers. Right. Um. Anyway, and then, yeah, then the crows start going crazy. And lots of them. And then it gets deathly quiet. And then a white walker shows up. And you see, and Gilly is like, they came for the baby. Yeah. And so, t so Sam went to fight, and the White Walker. Wait, what did what did he stab him with? Well, we'll get to that in one second. Did he stab him with that obsidian dragon glass? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so maybe that was the crux. So maybe it really is mm -hmm. dead. Well, because when he went, because maybe. Because that was just a, a knife. I think. No, wait a minute. I'm sure other people have attempted to stab that thing well, and have stabbed it, and it probably hasn't died. Or something. How the hell could it just like shatter? Because look at how it shattered his sword. Yeah. His sword was just a regular metal sword. Yeah. And he shattered it. And then Sam went out the dragon glass just because he would... Cause it was I all he had. Probably all his only he had, weapon he had yeah. left. And he wanted to protect Gilly and the baby, obviously. And stabbed just it. dawned on me that's what he stabbed him with. Yeah, the dragon glass. So we know it's Achilles heel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean... It <coughs> and that's the that power thing. of that dragon glass. I mean, well, it's dragon glass. Hopefully he grabbed it back. Right. Probably not. I don't know if he did. I don't remember if he did, and I don't... Well, they got out of their fat. Well, I guess we'll find out if he well, shows back up with it. Um, 
But all I know is I'm just getting a little teary eyed for some reason when Sam goes protects you know Gilly and the baby because it's Sam. I know he's so sweet. And, and the fact that he's like, I don't know if this is gonna work, but I gotta try. I gotta try to save him. I know. And I'm like Sam because we know he's not a fighter, and, and and he's going to get something that even if you were a good fighter, you'd probably struggle to go up against. Right. Especially if it destroys regular weapons. Um, <laughs> like regular, you know, metalwork weapons. Yeah. So it's like I always get a little like teary eyed. Yeah, it's just, you're funny. It's because it's just so sweet of him. Yeah. He's like, I'm gonna protect them, and I'm like, oh, Sam, y'all love Sam. He's like, he's he's like one of the most just, like, sweet, genuine characters on the show. <laughs> oh. Nice. Yeah. Okay. And what I, the one thing that's so funny mm -hmm. is that Sam called a White Walker. <laughs> <laughs> Not many men can say they go to White Walker. <laughs> no one's going to believe him. <laughs> Poor Sam. I know. Oh, he's no so one really sweet. Is. I know. He is. He's he's go to the White I know. I, and then I know. Okay, dokie. Okay. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Um, like usual, if you want to leave a link to reactions, you can check those out on my Patreon. Link to you in the description box down below. Um, and like I said, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff, and, uh, yeah, other, other good stuff. Alright, okay. so I hope you guys have a wonderful day and night, so goodbye, my family. Good night.